Hello everyone, this is Ruan, and I am excited to announce that the Splashdash beta testing program is opening on October 15th, and we are inviting select users to become part of the beta test, allowing you to explore our new AI-powered insights, automated reporting tools, and integrations with tools like Ahrefs, SEMrush, Moz, etc., without needing the account for any of them. And your role is gonna be able to test Splashdash's full suite of features, identify improvements and share feedback directly through the platform and uh, through two small interviews that we will have with you to help us make sure that everything runs smoothly before our launch. Um, now guys, this is something that I've been working on for a very long time. And so I feel it's finally ready for you guys to start utilizing it. And if you are interested, you can head over to the beta test page and then completely fill out the form towards the bottom. I'm gonna be showing you what you're gonna be doing on the actual platform during the beta test and showing you how it works. This will notify of your interest and if you're qualified, we will contact you to give you access. But that's not it. When you actually do the beta test, there is a reward for participating. You'll get 1000 Splashdash credits, which is equivalent to 500 reports, up to 500 reports and a chance to win one of three $1,000 cash prizes and three people will win. So if you participate in the beta test, there's a chance to win cash prizes, but you are guaranteed to get plus splash dash credit when it comes out. Without further ado, I'd love to show you what the platform does so that you can get a good understanding of what you'll be doing during the beta test. So you'll see when you are ready, you'll get a login page where you can log in with your email account and that email account will give you access to the front end, which looks like this. So the basic way that the platform works is there are actions. Um, actions are predefined reports that you can generate and quickly send to your clients with your brand, with your URL, completely white labeled. So at the top left, you'll see there's a splash dash logo and the actual color palette is magenta because that's the branding for Splashdash. But after the beta test, you'll be able to use your logo and your colors. So everything on this actual system will change to your brand's colors. The different actions here, et cetera, you'll be able to put the full version of your logo there, et cetera, as well. As you look at the front end, there are predefined reports that you can generate. You'll see things like backlink overview, compare backlinks, broad match keywords, digital presence, et cetera. And what you may have noticed is some reports contain one integration. So this data would come from SEMrush. Some reports contain two integrations. This data will come from SEMrush and Ahrefs. Some contain three. This would come from Ahrefs, SEMrush, and Moz, and et cetera. And you can filter by the different tools we have available by using Using the filtering system at the top or if you wanted to search for a report let's say i wanted to pull broad match keywords you can do that by doing a search at the top here now the whole premises of this i want to be very clear with you is not to take market share or even compete with these seo tools splashdash is an aggregator that's going to allow you to communicate data more effectively with your clients that you're already working for it is not an SEO research tool. So I wanted to make that very clear for you. It can be, but I don't recommend changing from Ahrefs to Splashdash. That just doesn't make sense. We're not building anything nearly as complex as they've built. Let's go ahead and, and, and go through the platform and start our first action. In the beta test, you will be um, basically tasked with going through each and every single report and providing some feedback of what you like and what you don't like of these reports. That data is going to give us a clear indication of the actions that we should build in the long term. Our engineering team is before we make hundreds of these, we'd like to know what you guys think on the first 12. So let's say we wanted to go ahead and pull a backlink overview report. You can simply click on the action and type in the domain that you want to pull this report on. As you click the run button, you will actually get Splashdash to call on SEMrush and gather that data from you for you in a front end that's simple and easy to look at and read. So once this data comes back, you'll see that the data would look like this. And for this report particularly, you would have a title card, which includes that the data comes from SEMrush what that data is, and then also the typical front end of what you would see when pulling this data, along with information cards of what this is. If you're sending this to a client, it's important that they can see that data. So we try to make it as descriptive as possible. Then you get the data, including source URL, the anchor text, the page title, etc., And you can do the different filtering options that are currently available uh, for filtering. So you can filter by highest, highest authority score, lowest, and you can also go ahead and just go through all of that data as well. Now, this is a very simple report that only used one integration. 
I'm going to show you how to pull this with multiple integrations in just a second. But I wanted to show you basically what an action is and what it does. Now, on every action that you run, there is going to be the opportunity for you to save that data. On the top right of every action, you'll see save, and you'll be able to do things like copy all the backlinks, copy the CSV file, or download the CSV. So if I copied all of the backlinks, I would then be able to, let's say in an email, just go ahead and copy and paste that and quickly send somebody their backlinks if I was gonna do this in an email, or I can share this as a link, which I'm gonna show you in just a minute, with the sharing options. So after you generate a report, you'll get what's called a report snapshot directly on the report itself. And what this is, is it's using the latest version of OpenAI's technology to actually create that data and write it out for you. Here on the share, you'll be able to either print it as a PDF, email it with the account that's associated, or schedule it if you wanna send this on a consistent basis. You can also click this share link button, which is my personal favorite, that's going to allow you to send the client a white labeled link with your domain of this action you've generated. So very important because clients are gonna be able to need to see this from you on whatever device type that they're working on. And when we share an action later, so I can show you what that looks like, you'll see that it's fit for every device type. And every time you actually create an action, you'll get a link that you can share. So that's an action that uses one integration. I wanna go ahead and now show you an action that uses two integrations. In this case, we're gonna run the domain ranking keywords, which basically analyzes keywords that generate organic traffic to a domain. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in one of our clients, ctskin.com, which we just launched their new website a couple of days ago. And you will see that when you run an action that has two or more integrations, you'll get what's called a table of contents or summary slide. This slide is going to tell you what the domain ranking keywords for CT Skin is, or in other words, what the title is, the date, the summary, some quick highlights that you should know, and then a table of contents of the data that was used to generate this report, as you can see there. So scrolling down, you'll see that the total amount of keywords is 5,700, 45 of them show up, 138 are on one or four to 10, and then 5,500 in the lower results. And then it's going to show me the actual keyword rankings for this client filtered by the first position. So this would be great to send a client if they were curious about what they're number one for. Again, you can filter this by the different filtering options that are available. So if I wanted to show them the highest cost per click keywords and where they rank for that, I can do that. Generally speaking, a higher cost per click usually means it's a better keyword to rank for. I can filter by the highest search volume keywords. And then I can also go by the length of keywords if I wanted to find additional long tails. This is a really quick indication of how flexible the platform is. Utilizing both Ahrefs' data and SEMrush's data in a single link sharing ability with your logo and brand, I think is going to enhance the way you do reporting. And then, of course, as the user hovers over any of the data, they'll be able to see uh, exactly what that data means. So for this example, how long is a lip filler appointment? I just clicked that link and I can see that it's ranking on this URL at that position of one, which is really great. And then scrolling down, I can actually go ahead and look at the summary. Again, completely created unique based on this report. And I have my new link that I can generate and send that would show them access to this report. And then over here, I can copy this data. So I wanted to show you the flexibility of copying the data. So if I wanted to save all the keywords, I could. And when I generate an email, I can just go ahead and put a list of all the keywords they're ranking for just like that. But if I wanted to give the client more context, I can actually copy all rows, as you can see. And when I do that, when I go back into email, it's going to actually paste all of the rows that are available. So you'll see that you can see the keyword, the position, the amount of results, etc. So again, just showing you the flexibility of using an action that has more than one um, integration connected to it. But now I'm gonna show you the flexibility of an action that has three integrations built into it. In this case, it's Ahrefs, Samrush, and Moz. And this is gonna compare the metrics between two domains. In this case, it's gonna be the domains that my client is competing with. And we're gonna go ahead and see how they stack up against the competition. So let's go ahead and run that report. If I love this report, I can favorite it. And when I favorite it, it'll show up on the actual right left side here of favorite. So if I open this up, I can actually quickly jump to my favorite actions. As the platform gets builder, that bigger, that's going to become important. So let's go ahead and compare metrics. 
I'm going to go ahead and put ctscan.com, which is our client, and renew 180, which is the quote unquote competition. So as I run this, because it's pulling a more comprehensive report, it's going to take a smaller amount of time to generate that report. But as you can see, it does it pretty quickly. So again, I've generated a report that includes multiple integrations, URL metrics, backlinks comparison, monthly traffic comparison. I'm going to get a quick analysis of that. And then going to the first page, I can see that the first part of this report is a URL metrics report. This is going to show me the domain authority, page authority, linked pages, and spam score for both domains. And this data is coming directly from Moz. A lot of users like using Moz to gather this data. And that's the benefit of utilizing Splashdash because it's going to give you the best data from the best integrations based on our extensive experience of doing SEO and using these tools. Same goes when you create an action that has a lot of different metrics. Every slide, you'll be able to do the copy and pasting of that data if you wish, if you're using that data elsewhere. But going back to it, let's go ahead and look there. So just by looking at this, I can see that PureSkin has less domain authority, but they have lower spam score. And I'm going to tell you why that's important in just a second. Now I'm doing a backlink comparison. Just this time, I'm actually using SEM Rush. And now this is going to show me that PureSkin CT Skin also has less referring domains and less backlinks, but it has a higher authority score. So as an SEO, that tells me that the links are of higher quality, although they have less of them. And that's what's cool about Splashdash. And I think that's what I think its real main value proposition is, is SEMrush uses something called authority score. Moz uses something called domain authority. And they are both conflicting a little bit because Moz's score is a little higher for the, the competition, but eight SEMrush's is higher on our client's actual rating there. So you can see that. Then there's a monthly traffic comparison showing you again the flexibility of the platform. In this case, it's using Ahrefs. It's showing me in the magenta line graph where our client is, and then it's showing in the blue graph where the competition is. Now, keep in mind, in the near future, when you actually create one of these, the magenta is going to switch out to whatever your brand color is. So really, really important that you white label this tool unless you want to use the preset colors. Scrolling down, I'm going to get a report snapshot. The only difference is this time I'm actually going to showcase what this looks like when you share it with the client. So I'm going to turn on the share a link. I'm going to copy this and then I'm going to share it in another tab so you can see what this would look like. So I'm going to switch my screen here and show you what this looks like on a new window. And now this is what the client would see. So they would not see any of the administrative function of the report. They would only see what's available on the report. Your logo would be attached there. This would be app.yourdomain.com, report. whatever it is that you would want for the URL structure. And then your client can quickly and visibly look at this data, or you can explain it to them on a call without having to go through multiple different tools. Also, if you decide to share this on a tablet or a mobile device, they'll be able to seamlessly go through the data however they see fit, no matter what device they're on, and they won't need a login at all to access that data. So hopping back over into the admin section of the report, you can now see the flexibility of utilizing Splashdash to send your clients more reports. As the tool gets bigger, we will add more reactions. So you'll be able to type in the actual uh, thing that you're looking for. Let's say I wanted to run broad keywords. I could type that in, quickly find that uh, actual report that I wanna send and then gather that data and then quickly send that to our client so that they feel comfortable with the marketing strategy that we're executing and showing the flexibility you'll go through each and every single one of the actions. So you'll tell us which ones are great and which ones are not. And then we will take that feedback and perfect the platform. So guys, thank you so much for doing this. If you do happen to apply, I'm looking forward to working with you. Uh, I can't tell you how much this means to me that you're going to be testing it and telling me where the areas of opportunity are. And if you do apply, I will see you on the beta test. Thank you guys so much for watching this video.